Next, we're going to talk about the property and evidence uh, sheet and how to properly fill this out to make sure that you have all the relevant information on here as best as you can. Uh, of course, this seems like common knowledge, but that it gets lost a lot. Make sure that you do number your pages up top, especially if you're going to have multiple items in larger cases, to make sure that we account for all items that are being placed into evidence. Use your case number. Make sure it's in uh, legibly written and it's uh, in the same format that we use for all of our reports. The date is the date when the property itself was collected, not necessarily the date for the case itself. So if a follow-up case was, um, excuse me, if a case for a shoplifting gets a security footage tape, it might be several days later. Make sure that the date is the day that we get the video, not the date of the shoplifting itself. For type of incident, it's going to be the same deal as with the UCR coding for all of our reports. Every time that you put all the uh, offenses into your report, it automatically is going to reorder them in, um, from highest to lowest severity. Make sure that you put your highest severity type of incident on the sheet to make sure that we have all the proper evidence of uh, proper evidence and make sure that we have the uh, right boxes that we can fill in for the property evidence itself. The four check boxes on the far side um, can all be used. You don't need to just use one at a time. However, we're going to talk about how to keep them separate and uh, organized on the sheet itself to make sure we have uh, all evidence that is going to be submitted as evidence for court and all evidence that might need to be destructed or uh, tested or just confiscated until the owner can come back and get the items from property and evidence. For your complainant, victim, and suspect, if you have the information there, if you have the information for your report, please fill in as much as you can. If you do not have a victim, uh, you can leave the victim blank, or if you haven't developed all the information for, um, for the report itself, just make sure we have the, as much information as you have at that time. If you do have a, a complainant or a suspect or any of that, make sure we have their name, their address, and their phone number. When you're talking about the location from where the items were obtained, make sure that you are as, as specific as you can. In this case, we're not just going to say that it was found on the traffic stop or that it was found um, in the car. We're going to say that it was found in the suspect's front right pocket. All these items. The reporting officers, of course, you make sure that you place your uh, badge number along with it. Uh, several officers have the same initials and the same last names in the department. Make sure that we uh, can differentiate between each one of the officers themselves. Of course, next you're going to go with your description of the properties. Um, the item number is just going to be numerically listed as you go along. Um, it's now, um, there doesn't need to be a certain order to it. However, it's easiest for us to account for all the items that you're submitting just by you making sure that we have a uh, numerical system to go by. For quantity, when you're talking about any type of uh, drugs or anything like that, you can place your weight here um, to make sure we have the, the accurate weight for the package. Of course, you have that on the bag itself after you've packaged it. That way we can match which item is which, especially if you have several different bags of um, suspected drugs. Always make sure that you place um, the bin number that you're placing it in at the uh, at the end to make sure we can find it especially if you have a large case where you have several items and that cannot all fit in the same locker we need to be able to find or match those items all together especially if you only have one property sheet for any type of electronics make sure that you have the serial number if there if it's cracked or damaged or anything like that make sure we have a notate uh, notation for it or if it's in any type of um, uh, case or um, box. 
and then of course every time that you've um, taken cash in this case we're just going to use this as a safekeeping item so we're going to list it on the same property sheet make sure we have it listed out what it is and then if we go to the bottom here we have our um, first two items as you can see we can you can do a uh, one through uh, whatever amount of item so if we had one through eight that are all uh, evidence you can do one through eight give us our date put your name you're going to leave by re received by blank the reason being is received by has to be uh, anytime the chain of custody is changed it has to be for a person it cannot be to a locker it cannot be to evidence it cannot be to uh, you should not write the person that you're expecting to take it um, in there either uh, in case one of that evidence tech isn't there that the next day or whenever we're starting to handle it just leave it blank and we will complete it as soon as it's been taken in in this case as we've said um, item three is going to be for safekeeping so we did the exact same thing left the receive by blank and we've placed the appropriate um, status along with each one of them or for the purpose of the exchange. All right, for many of the um, pieces of evidence that come in, additional testing may be required. The in-house testing for Smyrna is only for marijuana. For all other testing, for DNA, for drug analysis, or anything like that, we're going to have to send it out to the GBI. For that reason, we need a GBI submission form along with that piece of evidence. Once you've uh, notated on the property and evidence sheet that it um, in the other box that it is uh, for testing, you can submit this along with it. The page, uh, the sheet is very self-explanatory. Has all the um, necessary items for um, what we need to make the submission. In this case, anything below this line is being filled out. So we have our case number, we have our date of incident, the other um, parts will be already be pre-filled. Put as much information about your victim and your suspect if there are multiple. You can do um, use all the lines or you can use additional sheets and just attach them to the rear of this as, um, as many as you need. Make sure that you fill out all of your information as the officer to make sure that you have the um, that so we can send the report to you or if there's any questions about the submission that the GBI can contact you or us. For the um, type of incident, uh, most of the uh, common cases are going to be for BGSA uh, for the uh, for drugs and things like that. In this case I've marked for homicide. Uh, we have our item that we are submitting, which is a bread knife with blood on blade and the handle. We're asking for a DNA testing, and then for any type of uh, briefcase history, unless it's a piece of, uh, it's some drugs that we found on the person themselves. For homicides, they're typically gonna ask for a report. The, if you have a narrative available for your report, just attach it with the evidence submission form.